If you've played pickleball for any length of time at all, then you know that there are many different types and styles of pickleball player out there. One of the most challenging to deal with is the aggressive player that is also consistent in their aggressive play, meaning they make their plays, they make their shots. Today, we're going to dive into five effective strategies that you can use to diffuse and defend against the aggressive player, specifically when they're being really aggressive from the net and clogging up the middle of the court. I'm Nicole Havlicek, this is Primetime Pickleball. Let's dive into today's topic. Missing one of our videos is like missing an easy put away. Don't let that be you. Subscribe now. Now the scenario we're going to be breaking down today can happen at any time during the point, but it most often happens when you are the returning team and they are the serving team. So let's say you're the receiver on your team and you're being served to from the server cross court and you're returning from the even side. So they serve the ball, you return it you're coming in. You should want to return and advance to the net to meet your partner. The server then drops the shot cross court to you. And as you may have been taught, you send that ball back cross court, aiming for their feet, because that's a really good idea. And they're slightly back. They're not up at the non-volley zone line. And next thing you know, here comes crossing over their partner and they take a big forehand poach through the middle. And next thing you know, the point's over. Okay, so before we dive any deeper, I wanna quickly explain why you haven't done anything wrong yet the first time or two that this happens. You are playing the smart shot. You're not expecting the server's partner to come across and be aggressive poaching on a regular basis. Typically, when your opponents are in a staggered formation, meaning they're like this, one's a bit back and they're not side by side, you do want to play that shot to the deeper player and put it at their feet. There's lots of benefits to that. They're further back. They can be less aggressive. They, if they're taking it off their shoelaces, they must hit up and there's a greater risk of a popped up ball that you can then do damage with. So it's really tough to actually dig balls out of your shoelaces when you're further back in the court. It's doable, but it's not the easiest thing. So you want to put your opponents in not the best situation because that's good for you. However, the challenge arises when the other team, specifically that player's partner, flips the script on you and all of a sudden the shot that in general is smart becomes not smart. You can't keep hitting that shot. You're gonna have to do something else or you're gonna go down quickly and lose the game in no time at all if that player continues to clog up the middle and poach like crazy. Now, the good news is there's lots of other options for things you can do, but you can't do that anymore. So now let's dive into the options when you're dealing with an aggressive net player that's poaching all the time. As helpful as we think the tips we're sharing in today's video are, there's more to achieving success on the doubles court. Want a complete A to Z step-by-step -step blueprint for playing winning doubles pickleball? Check out our dominating doubles system today. Go to doublesystem.com to learn all about it. Option number one is to hit the return to them. If they have to hit the third shot, then they can't be sneaking in while their partner is hitting that third shot looking to do damage on the next ball that comes over. There's a lot that that aggressive player has to do in preparation to be able to come across and poach and be aggressive on that next shot. They can't do it from way back. So as their partner is hitting the third shot, they're busy sneaking in, getting set to go. But if they're the ones that have to hit the third shot, then all of a sudden they're not a problem anymore. Now, if their partner is being an aggressive poacher too, then there's other things you might have to consider, but typically it's one player that is super aggressive with the poaches. So if you neutralize them by hitting the return to them, there's a really good chance that'll diffuse the situation. Option number two is to keep that ball still cross court, but instead of aiming for the feet of the cross court player that's further back, keep it short, low, and away. So a bit shorter in the court, low crossing the net, and a little more angle on it. So you're sending it more wide rather than towards the player. This will keep the ball out of reach for any potential poach, therefore diffusing that aggressive poaching situation. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified anytime we release a new video. Option number three is to take the shot behind the poacher. So instead of going 
cross court, you're going to go down the line and more towards the sideline because they're squeezing the middle. It doesn't have to be an attack, it can just be a dink over that way, deeper in the kitchen or slightly past the kitchen because they're gonna be leaning pretty hard wanting to squeeze that middle and take anything that floats through the middle you're gonna send it the other way behind them. So they'll probably have to change directions to go out to get that ball and they'll be able to get it, but they're not really gonna be able to be aggressive with it and therefore you're out of the situation. Option four is to attack them at their body and more towards their offside. Now we typically recommend attacking at a player's body towards their dominant side to jam them up in the shoulder like this. However, Usually players are gonna be poaching from the odd side over to the even side because they're more comfortable poaching with their forehand. So they'll set it up in such a way where that's how they're gonna be poaching. So you'll want to attack them at their body a little bit more towards their left shoulder because they're moving right and they're looking for their forehand. So it'll take them a split second longer to take the paddle to their backhand over to their left shoulder and they often get jammed up. It takes some skill to attack them in that way, but it's definitely doable and it's a good option because they're not expecting it and they'll probably be surprised and get jammed up. So attacking their body when they're leaning quite heavily to poach is a really viable option to defuse the situation. Option number five is to use any one of the previous four options in combination of two or more. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, very often the poacher is going to be executing that aggressive poach on the fifth shot of the point. However, not always. It may not have worked out at that time, but they are still looking to clog up the middle. So they might do it on the seventh or an, at another time. So you may have to hit a few shots before that happens and hopefully you can diffuse it so that it doesn't happen. So several things you could do are return to them and try to keep them back or if they are able to come in you can then dink behind them or dink low and away, cross court. So you will have to do a few of these things together, but the main thing you wanna do is keep it from floating in the middle where they have an attackable ball in the middle because that is what they're looking for. So none of these things are going to necessarily win you the point outright. With the exception of the attack to the body, that one may, but the rest probably won't. What they will serve to do is to neutralize this particular offensive scenario that you probably will be facing at some point if you haven't already. A really aggressive net player that is poaching frequently. So basically the whole goal is to live to fight to the next scenario, which will be within the same point. So if you come up against this scenario, and you will, these are the things you can do. A big thank you to Yasna, Carolyn, Julie, and Carmen for their help with this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. For more pro player pickleball tips, techniques, strategies, and more on how to take your game to the next level, please visit primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, and until then, happy pickling.